This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Whether you're looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything. You can use the coupon code ZABDOSTCG to get 5% off your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. CardMarket is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can use the referral name ZabluisTCG to help support the channel. This video is also sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. This is a website to create your own custom uh, playmat from scratch. You can upload your own unique uh, design or uh, your favorite wallpaper and then turn it into a beautiful playmat. There's a link down below to get 10% off your next order. Last but certainly not least is dragonshield.com. There are links down below for people from the US and people from Europe where you're gonna be able to buy sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. And of course, Dragon Shield is the best brand to protect your beautiful cards. I recommend them uh, for every tournament. So uh, definitely check out the links and uh, it's gonna help out support the channel so much. So uh, thanks for sticking around with the commercials and let's get this video started already. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Zadlis TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be checking out the uh, top 8 list of the Arlington Regionals, the updated Lost Zone box with Rayquaza. Rayquaza with amazing burst, slapping huge amount of damage for every different basic energy attached to it. We do discard all energies attached to the amazing rare Rayquaza, but it's worth it to uptrade on V stars, V maxes, etc. So we do have Mirage Gate as the ideal combo and this is a Lost Zone box, so we do have the Comfies and of course the Chorus working together to activate Mirage Gate. If there's seven in the law zone uh, if there's four in the law zone you can attack freely with crown rent and even spread some damage with lost mine uh, with the sable eye here if there's 10 in the law zone so it all gets stitched together here with the uh, law zone engine and uh, there's some uh, raihans in here which always lets you find your missing puzzle piece maybe you're missing out on mirage gate maybe it's an ordinary rod to get specific energies back in the deck it's all possible with a list like this oranguru protects yourself from marnie so you can put uh, the uh, cards you want up next something like uh, a chorus or a Raihan on top and if you get Marnie you do draw into that card instantly but also helps to put the energy that you have in hand on top of the deck so you can of course accelerate it with Mirage Gate. We have Rain Greninja to draw cards but also can attack with the uh, Moonlight Shuriken because there are water energies in this list. So pretty much Lost Zone Box but uh, with Amazing Rare Rayquaza. We haven't featured this on the channel yet which is super nice and then there's also Raikou for the Lightning type coverage against Lugias that do not have Dunsparce or are forgetting to slap down Dunsparce in the first place. So uh, hopefully you guys are excited for today's upload. If you are, be sure to let me know by slapping the hell out of the like button and subscribe for more daily Pokemon TCG content. So uh, yeah, what can I say? Jake, uh, Jacob I's list is uh, actually pretty uh, close to the list I've been practicing with uh, a lot. So the only thing is that I, I'm actually playing is like the amazing rare Raikou. So uh, instead of playing water energies, you're playing metal energies and playing that instead. But uh, the uh, main feature and uh, the power of the deck is exactly the same. So let's see what we're facing off on the versus ladder today. And uh, this list ha does have a lot of great matchups, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's go first, because you do have access to like uh, comfies already, so you want to uh, utilize the flower selectings as early. This would have been such a busted hand if we just gotten one basic Pokemon. We have, this list is also running like four quick balls, so in, uh, un, like, not unlike the other like basic uh, Lost Zone boxes, those are not playing a lot of quick balls. So you always find access to like your Radiant Greninja on turn one. So I always love going second, actually going first, but if you go second, you can use Colrus. So uh, this deck doesn't mind going first or second, but I always prefer to go first with Lost Zone boxes in general. So uh, we do give up that mulligan, it is fine. We're up against some sort of a Sobble, all right. We'll see how that goes. I'll think I'll... Could we get rid of the Sableye here? We do have Ordinary Rot. Maybe getting rid of the Raihan is a little bit better here. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of the Raihan. We do have multiple ways to get uh, Raihan uh, in the late game. There's still probably more in there. Yeah, there's th still two more in here. Wow, Colorus Experiment. We'll probably have to play Colorus Experiment for the first couple of turns. So I'll get out that Raiding Range. I always have to check your uh, prize cards here for the energy amount. So uh, all of them in there. That's perfectly awesome. So let's just get them out. It's always important for flower selecting options. So you know which cards you are willing to put in the loss and which ones you weren't. You don't want to do that. So uh, we do have Raikou. If they're playing Palkia, we can do something with that. Uh, let's go for flower selecting. Mirage Gate. I'll take the Mirage Gate because that's going to help us out quite a bit. 
We could already attach to the Snorlax. Nah, I'll save this energy to more, for more draw power with the Raiding Greninja. That seems better to me because we're probably going to be swinging with the uh, Cramorant. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be swinging with Cramorant. It's great. We didn't find Battle VIP Pass. Okay, we're up against some sort of Samurai deck. Keep calling in the house. A couple of subbles will emerge. And uh, I am actually not afraid of uh, a multiple price deck because we are able to uptrade with the amazing rare Rayquaza. Hopefully we'll be able to showcase that in uh, this video. I'm probably gonna go for concealed cards on top of uh, Colorless Experiment on top of uh, Flower Selecting so we can knock out the first sub with Cramorant. I'm gonna save, uh, maybe like there's on this situation, I'm gonna save the water energy seeing as we can then Moonlight Shuriken, which is gonna be way more dangerous for the little subbles right there. We have Scoop Up Net, we have Raihan, so we can definitely respond here and there. Let's go for Color Resist Experiment first. We do find Quick Ball, which is nice. Uh, a Comfy and a Switch card. These are all very great cards, to be honest. I'll get these, I suppose. Getting rid of another Raihan does seem bad, but it's fine. We have one in hand. Okay, two Raihans down the drain. It is what it is, but I'm actually going to be going for... We do have that Water Energy Attachment. Can we get to, like... Seven cards right now. I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't think I'm gonna be using Raikou here. I'm actually gonna get rid of the Raikou. I'm gonna get myself Cramorant. Next up, Flower Selecting. We have a Rangaru or a Grass Energy. Yeah, in that case, I'll take the Grass Energy. We need all the energies we can get to knock out Samurai V Star. We're gonna be going for Comfy. We're gonna be going for that scoop up net, getting rid of this one, slapping down this one, using another flower selecting, saving more energies than ever before. Okay, let's see. We have already one, two, three, four, five. I don't think we'll get to more than five. Can at least go for another switch card here. Go for another flower selecting. We do get another comfy. That's actually not bad. The problem is that we won't we won't be able. He can get like multiple prize cards. I don't think they're playing Manaphy quite yet. We can also attack with that later on. So I think for now I'll go for the uh, comfy play. Seems great to me. Yeah, we can retreat and just get to that amount. So at this point there are, there are like uh, six in there. I think I'll just go for attachment and retreating. Seems like the best option here. Retreat and let's go Cramorant. Getting the first prize card. So this is a typical Law Zone box, but we do have access to the Requaza, which will hopefully pop up sooner rather than later. Okay, we have a Colorless Experiment from the prize cards. That's super huge. So we're going to be promoting Comfy. I think at this point, I'm not going to be using uh, the Requaza quite yet. I'm going to be going for the attack on the Raiding Greninja, seeing as I know... Uh, there's still one water energy left in the deck. We have one water energy attachment and then we can Mirage Gate and then KO. Yeah, we can even go for Raihan if we want to. Like Raihan, attachment and Mirage Gate are all options here we can utilize to make sure. <clears throat> yeah, to make sure. Yeah, they're going for Raihan. I wonder yeah, if we can take down a couple of these Inteleons before they evolve, like double the Drizzle to KO that with the Raiding Green, uh, with the Raiding Greninja, that would be superb. They're going for Raihan on the Sobble, surprisingly. I don't know what they tend to do here. Rare Candy, all right, all right. I see where they're going. They're playing Rare Candies. Are you able to Rare Candy this one as well? Otherwise, I'm just gonna take two prize cards on Drizzle as well as Sobble which is gonna help a lot in the price trade. There's also that two price liability on the bench on the opponents, which we can of course target down with the one-off bosses orders in our deck. So this deck flows pretty well. It is better even when you have like the battle VIP pass starts, but uh, you don't always need them. Now, if you can uh, flower selecting, I'm fine a battle VIP pass, it's uh, an easy choice. So level ball and evolution incense are the cards they're uh, going for. They're gonna go for scoop up nets. Attachment onto the Intellion, Evolution inside. Are they gonna get like two Intellions out? No. Samurai in the house as well. Double Subble, no Manaphy. 
I would never go that way. Never go that route. Okay. So, what we need is the Mirage Gate here. We have five cards, six cards in the last one. So, the only thing we would need to do here is I don't want to use cards as experiment here, seeing as we're probably going to be drawing into some water energies, which is something I really don't want to be seeing. So, in this case, I probably go for Barrage Gate uh, for Comfy first and then the Colorus experiment because if we use Colorus then it's gonna be way more tricky because we might draw into the water energy which we don't want to be drawing into. We can also go, oh they do go for the Mana Fee, ah that changes everything. Okay, that is fine. So now Snorlax needs to attack, that's the thing right? Or we can try and target down Manaphy if we can get more cards in the Lost Zone. That is also a thing because we do have Sableye in the hand. Double Mirage Gate here as well. So uh, we have currently six. So let's add that up to more. Switch cards, Air Balloon. Saving the Lightning Energy. The Quick Ball could help with Rokaza. That is true. But I'm going to be going for these. Let's go. Okay, what do we see? Five, six, seven, eight. We need to dig a little bit deeper. Yeah, definitely saving a Rayquaza, although we have two, two Rayquazas. Yeah, I'll save there. We still have Lightning Energy in hand, that's fine. A retreat. Flower selecting. We have a Rope or a Cremorant. The Rope... Could make it hard for them to get in the active position. Do we need more? Cramorant can also take easy prize cards, but Sableye could do the exact same thing. Yeah, I'll take the rope. It's fine. Time for Sableye to strike. If we counted correctly, we have 10 cards in the law, so now we have access to this beautiful Sableye. We can even draw a little bit deeper, uh, so we can then take multiple prize cards if they cannot recover their mana fee. Could be super nice. Uh, I think I'll go for the rope here. That makes it makes them having to have an energy to retreat, and less energies is good. We do have double mirage gate though, so whatever they promote, we can slap it. We also still have Snorlax. As a formidable attacker as well to KO that Intellion, which will be necessary. Okay, they go for this. Uh, yeah, I'll have to go for this. We do have Mirage Gate already. They could Marnie, which is pretty bad. But I don't think they're gonna be targeting down Rayquaza. We still have a Grass Energy. We still have a Fighting Energy. Yeah, I think I'll already set up Rayquaza. I, I know they can like Shady Dealings and then get it instantly. But then we can Sableye spread once again. Are they gonna be able to evolve all that? That's something I don't know. Lightning energy as well. I wanna save all these energies by the way, but we do have energy recycler. So I think I will go for Raiding Greninja, drawing more cards. We have Poke Gear, we have Ordinary Rod, which can shuffle back. I'm already gonna slap down Rayquaza since we do have Ordinary Rod in hand and then we can Mirage Gate and do all that funky stuff here and there. Snorlax, also a very great card right now to slap down, but we do have Air Balloon, so it doesn't make uh, too much sense here. So, Lost Mine. I don't plan on using Radiant Greninja, although they're probably going to be evolving everything, right? And they also have Scoop Up Nets. Leaving this stuck in the active is nice, though. They don't, yeah, they do have scoop up nets. We can raid in Greninja later, so I think I'll just. Yeah, I think I'll just do it like this, spreading it around a little bit. We do get that KO, <laughs> that Drizzle stuck in the active, which is super nice. They could retreat, uh, but then we attack with Snorlax first, KO that Inteleon. We can Ordinary Rot to Sableye once again, and then we can go for the uh, Raihan play. To then knock out the Manaphy and something else. 
Because with 12 damage counters, this Drizza gets knocked out and this Manaphy gets knocked out. So they would need another Shady Dealings. In they do have another Shady Dealings in Talion. Crazy. They would need to attach and retreat though. They would need to attach and retreat. We can clean this one up later. Maybe we should have put like five damage counters on the active. So that means we can utilize the Cramorant. We can still ordinary rot the Cramorant as well. We can also attack with Raikou, but that doesn't help too much in the price trade. They could get for a, they could go for a huge Marnie here. They could, but we still have enough left in the truck to attack. We have here the scoop up net and energy surge. Probably not gonna have to, they can no, no longer slap down another Sobble, which is like a, a very cool thing. They could scoop up that Demanifi, I suppose. But that's like a zero operation. Now, the attach, retreat. At one point, we will, of course, Mirage Gate and bombard that Hasuyan Samurad V Star. <laughs> Manaphy is back. Hello. Avery. Yeah, let's get rid of a comfy. It's fine. We didn't over uh, bench here. So Aqua Bullet coming down. Probably gonna see damage on the comfy, I suppose. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, it's it's, it's time for Snorlax, ladies and gentlemen. Snorlax can take down a couple of these. 180. That's huge numbers. So first of all, let's go Raihan. So uh, as you can see, we can get like a whole heap of energies, which is nice. I'm not gonna take the psychic energies. Oh yeah, well, doesn't matter too much, I suppose. Psychic energy, and then we can get whatever we want. There's still enough energies in the deck. I think I'll take the boss's orders, seeing as we can then boss and mirage gate at the same time, which would be super bonkers. Fighting grass, water, that seems great. Yeah, that does seem great. Mirage Gate, Water, and Grass. I'm already putting one energy on the Rayquaza here. Giving like two threats at the same time seems pretty broken. Flower Selecting, taking another Mirage Gate here. We're gonna be going for the Retreat. We do have a lot of ordinary rods still left. I wonder if I should already utilize one. Like the Sableye one does get us another prize card for sure, unless he has more scoop up nets. Two scoop up nets played already. But the energy recycler is a little bit stronger here. And we're probably gonna get Marnie regardless, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. Seems reasonable. Let's put back Cramorant and Sableye. These are great attackers. And we will gonna get back some energies. Lightning and Fighting. Lightning and Grass. There's still, yeah, Lightning and Grass seem to be the best options here. We can Mirage Gate already, but that would be like too much because they can then target down Rayquaza and all of our energies would be going down the drain. Let's go for the Thumping Snore. We do have the switch card still left if we want to retreat if he leaves us in the active position. Maybe we flip double heads, you never know. Scoop up net, great for this uh, liability on the Comfy. Yeah, it is double tails, doesn't matter. We have the switch card. We can just switch around and do some Havoc. So three prize cards to take, the opponent still needs to take four. That's a lot. How are they gonna do that? Uh, my next move would be to use Rayquaza and boss up the V-Star right there. They can actually put four damage counters on a Pokemon, which can put them up trading technically. We didn't slap down Manaphy, but uh, how are they gonna set up themselves when they already utilize, utilize Raihan and this guy doesn't have any energies? Our boss Zord is, is gone. Such a shame, our switch card also gone. Yeah, we are still asleep. We are still asleep. So 
The best bet right now, because we need to reshuffle the deck, is probably going to be Mirage Gate. I'm gonna just get out these. I don't think he's gonna have like Boss Zorus randomly in hand. He could, but that's fine. Now we go for Colors' Experiment, Switch Card, and Boss. These are actually the cards I wanted in the first place. There's another. Yeah, I think these are better. Let's go for switch card on the comfy. Utilizing flower selecting. Getting another Mirage Gate. So as long as we keep this up, nothing can take us down. Okay, we even have the attach of the turn. I don't want to over attach here since we do have another Rayquaza and another Mirage Gate. So I think I'll just go for the Thumping Snore. KOing that uh, Inteleon, and we do have balls and all the things in, in hand to win the game. A rope! A rope, boss, attach, KO! And we wake up as well, so what are you gonna do now? They could zigzagoon KO this one, and then Marty making it as difficult to respond, but with so many Mirage Gates left, and Lightning Energy is being in the deck as well. I don't know how this YOLO Hasuin Samurad V-Star will beat the power of the Rayquaza Law Zone back. So it's quite a long game this first one. Very glad to be able to showcase all the attackers. So we attacked with Sableye, we've attacked with Cramorant, we've attacked with Snorlax. We're gonna be attacking with Rayquaza eventually. They're using Clara, so no hand disruption, meaning this is game. A bunch of subbles appeared, like this Manaphy was a pain in our, uh, <laughs> a torn in our side because we actually wanted to use Moonlight Shuriken as another attacker, but they slapped it down. Four damage counters and the KO here, all right. And now a 320 damage with Rayquaza is coming. Here we go. Let's go. Well played. We could even go further. Oh, yay. Yeah, we could have even gone like for the 400 damage output. But this seems sufficient. Rayquaza cleans up and upgrades on multiple prize Pokemon. That's how the deck functions. Uh, unfortunately, Samurai. It is a funky, funky deck for sure. But uh, I wonder how it competes against the the likes of Lugia V Star, the best deck in format. Okay, we lose the coin flip. We are totally fine with that. And uh, we have access to uh, Poke Gear, which is great. We have access to more cards. I think in this situation, what do you do, right? Do you Quick Ball already? Hello, hi. We're up against the Reggies. That's pretty bad, seeing as uh, this list is not running enough stuff quite yet. But yeah, the Reggies is a bad matchup. It goes back and forth. I know we can KO with Rayquaza, I know we can KO with Snorlax, but we would need to be faster than the opponent. Or maybe like trap a Reggie and then spread damage with the Sableye. Triple Trekking Shoe, turn one. It's crazy. Here comes the Quick Ball. All of these cards are gold. All the cards are gold. So. Lost Zone boxes typically lose against uh, the Regis if they have an ideal setup, and they do. At this point, already three Regis in sight, an energy in the discard pile. This looks bad. We will need to get up Manaphy as well. This is going to be a tricky situation. I'm not going to be going for a switch car uh, for escape rope, seeing as they can just promote the Regi Lecky. Regi Draco as well. This is a very great setup from the opponent. Okay, it makes it a little bit easier. We're gonna go for Quick Ball. And... Do we get out the Greninja already? Depends on the Poke Gear. If the Poke Gear whiffs, we're gonna be in a bad situation. I think I'll go for the Comfy first. Going for Flower Selecting. Do I have a Scoop Up Net? I'm gonna try to dig for that for that colorless experiment Raiding Ranger does help if we do draw into some energies switch card keep on drawing the Raihan is nice but getting so many energies in the law zone is not great yeah I'll take the this one 
We did draw a lot to try and find that. Oh yeah, there's a path to the peak in play, so that's gonna be difficult as well. Uh, Poke Gear. There's the Chorus Experiment. At least that is nice. Okay, we will need this one. We need actually everything. Yeah, at this point, it's probably better to just get Quick Ball. Rayquaza is not the best attacker in this matchup. Already a lot of cards in the Lost Zone, that's pretty reassuring. Oh, quick Ball, I'm not gonna use Escape Rope, otherwise they can just uh, get that Reggie Draco in the active position and would be in a bad, in a worse situation. Snorlax could be attacking, let's attack with Sableyes, check out our energies as well. We have one Psychic Energy. Okay. One Psychic Energy, sure. Radiant Granger could also snipe at one point. That's why I put it into play in the first place, even though there's like a Path to the Peak in play, which is pretty bad, but we don't have a Counter Stadium. Let's attach and retreat. It's time for Cramorant to shine. Didn't put up uh, the mana fee quite yet, but we can still do that later. I think getting an attack off was a little bit better. They could have just have scoop up net right now and then all of our stuff went down the drain, but for all we know, they don't even have a supporter. Ordinary Rod. One Reg Ice. Research. Okay, they have a supporter. Will they have ways to get their full Reggie squad? Maybe scoop up the red eyes, do all that stuff. We are already at five cards in the law zone, so Sableye could particularly attack at one point. We would need to like boss up something and then go for the lost mines on a lot of things so we can then spit innocently on the rest. Could still scoop up, that could be still bad. As mentioned, the Reggie deck is a super bad matchup. You can improve it by playing uh, Galarian Zigzagoon and the Amazing Rare Raikou though. So you can take two prize cards at once. This list is not running that, so... Four cards in the hand. I don't want to actually use it like... Ro okay, they do, they do go for Scoop Up Nets. Do they have the other Regis? No, it's just a static shock for 40. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Okay. That's definitely interesting. One scoop up net wasted. Gonna have to go. This guy could potentially attack next turn if they attach energy. So we can boss up a Reggie and then spit innocently. But I think we have to go for like the stable at ASAP. These Mirage guys are not gonna help. Could attack with. 90, 90. One, two, three, four, five. Attach Mirage Gate, start swinging. Taking d double prize cards simultaneously. Yeah. Good Mirage Gate already. Water, lightning. Let's rope away. Hopefully they don't have more scoop up nets. Let's try this out for size. And we don't still have, we don't have Manaphy quite yet, so it's gonna be pretty tricky. Uh, Moonlight Shuriken. This in the active is fine. 90, 90? Swing into this one and the active is also seeming pretty nice. Yeah, our biggest weaknesses right now is that we don't one shot unless we attack with Snorlax. And uh, another problem is we can, uh, we can do it again though. Ordinary Rod Barrage Gate. I, I tell you, we can get multiple prize cards if the opponent doesn't have all the Aurora energies. And then we're uh, ahead on price trade, I suppose. Serena, discarding the entire hand. One ordinary rot. Double Regis. 
that's not the best draw power though. Tracking shoe, that's the fourth shoe of the bunch. Did discard research. Yeah, we can take two prize cards here with the Radiant Greninja. That would be like we could trap, trap a Gigas and KO the rest. But the, trapping a Gigas is not the best thing ever though. You can also 90-90. Okay, do you have an energy? Is our Greninja gonna see the discard pile? It's such a shame that we're not able to use concealed cards. This list is actually whiffing out. Ah, oh, there's a scoop up net. No. That's bad. That is very bad. We can ordinary rod and do it again though. There's capabilities for sure. Take an attack with Reggie Gigas as well. Hmm, how do we go from here? Attacking with Cramorant. These Koopa Nets are really, really bad for us. I think I'll promote Comfy, seeing as our hand is actually pretty bad. Switch card, it's perfect card to draw here. <laughs> Battle VIP passes, that's not gonna be doing anything. Switch card, I think there's, we still have to draw through the deck. It's the only way. Colorless experiment, that's where we're getting at least something. Colorless experiment, Snorlax, energy, Manaphy. <laughs> but the problem is, Manaphy seems like the best choice here, but uh, this seems also bad to give up on all these energies. Okay, Manaphy time, Snorlax. Attach, retreat. We do have the Mirage Gate for the Greninja play. We also have Sableye to finish off, by the way. We need to take multiple prize cards. That's what we need to do here. Okay. 110. If he has another scoop up net, there's no way we can come back from that. Right now, we're gonna be going two for two. And we still have uh, the Balsasaurus to potentially trap a Reggie. If they're overly attaching their energies. Research, okay. We can also target down the same Reggie. Like if we, there's two Ordinary Rod down the drain. And there's already one Red Eyes in the discard pile. So if we target down that Red Eyes, maybe they won't be able to recover from that. So, 18 card. I haven't seen uh, the gift energy anywhere. Reggie Rock comes to town. Very good game, though. Very good game. Fortunately, the scoop up nets slowed us down way too much, and that's where Amazing Rare Raikou could help you out a ton. Are they gonna go for the acceleration here? Are they gonna do it again? If that is the case, we can trap something with boss doors and then Sableye spread, that would be huge. Attachment onto the Regigigas, and they're not going for that. Okay, perfect. That is perfect. Okay. Comfy time. We have Oranguru. We can Ordinary Roth. Mirage Gate. Okay, that is bad. Do we... I don't know if we have other... Cards here. We really want to go ordinary rods. I cannot. I, this is the problem with like TCGO. I cannot even go and check my uh, the rest of my prizes. Uh, so bad. So I will go for flower selecting, energy recycler. 
Yeah, this seems bad. Primary Wisdom. <laughs> Luckily, there's a switch guard. But, uh... There's not a lot else we can do here. Switch guard. Another Mirage Gate here could bail us out, I suppose. Capture energy. Yeah, I guess at this point we are pretty stuck. We could boss, but we cannot attack. And the reason for that is that I could not check my prize cards here with the psychic energy being there. If I would have been able to use Sableye, I think this would have been a better game. But uh, at this point, we're way too far behind. And uh, yeah, I, maybe there was a psychic energy in our discard pile. I couldn't check because TCGO was glitched a little bit. But very well played by the opponent. The scoop up nets slowed us down. But as mentioned, you can win against this uh, Reggie deck, but you have to play incredibly well and you have to spread those damage counters. Like, I wonder if we would have spread damage counters with Sableye would it, if they whiffed out on their ordinary rod, how it would have happened. But typically, Reggie is a bad matchup regardless. Okay, another game. <laughs> it's time. What is this? No. Okay, starting with look. Okay, luckily the opponent conceded here because our hand was unplayable. Nothing we could do about that. Yeah, if only we would have been able to spread damage with that Sableye. It would have been so great to do that. We will never know what would have happened. Okay, we keep on losing the coin flip. If we have Colorus as experiment, is great. Well, this is a great hand for sure. Battle VIP pass, quick balls, everything you might need to uh, get your game started. Definitely with like scoop up nets in that hand. Manaphy as the opening Pokemon, which we can KO. Capture energy, Lugia. It is Lugia. Can we showcase that we can beat Lugia? That's what we need to do here. We can rope and KO the Lugia here if we uh, draw incredibly well. So, Battle VIP Pass, we're gonna be getting ourselves comfy. And we do have Quick Ball already to get the Raikou if need be. Let's get double comfy and circle around them. That does sound like a plan. Let's go, comfy time. <laughs> Battle VIP Pass, more Pokemon cards. The Raihan is also not bad, seeing as we can then blow up on whatever is in the active. So scoop up nets. Flower selecting. Another battle VIP pass. Raikou. Can we get the Raikou though? We already have Quick Ball. I think I'll save the Rayquaza here. Scoop up nets. Flower selecting. Like, look at that. Keep on using the scoop up nets here. Scoop up net again. Look at that go. Quick ball. Where are the cards we really need? One, two, three, four. It's not the most amount we've seen. We don't even find energies. That's like the funky part about this. Air balloon. Treat. We already have one Mirage Gate. Might as well slap down this. Slap down the Rayquaza. At this point, we don't need another Comfy. Let's get rid of that. The Raikou is super appealing. We do have another Quick Ball in hand, though. So I think I'll just go get the Oranguru here because our great fan Raiding Greninja is prized. Luckily, we were able to draw immensely well through the deck. <laughs> Another scoop up net. Okay, fine. We can surprise this Lugia if they don't get out. <laughs> we have lightning energy. So we can surprise the Lugia and KO it with a Raikou. If they didn't find like any Archaeops in the discard pile, maybe they research now. Okay, amazing rare Raikou. We didn't slap down Manaphy. Yikes, that's huge. 
if they're able to get both Archaeops and Discard Pile, that is. Otherwise, we just Quick Ball, get the Mana Field on board, and go from there. Serena. Get rid of two energy. No Archaeops! Huge! This is huge. This is a threat, but we can take that. So this deck can stand up against Lugia, and that's the most important factor about... <laughs> they just concede, that's what I'm saying. We can compete against Lugia, can compete against other Lost Boxes. Against Regis, eh, it's tricky. Maybe playing the Amazing Rare Raikou does help out that matchup incredibly well. Maybe we should go for that. But yeah, big shout out again to Jacob I playing a very unique Lawstone box with Rayquaza. Such a lot of fun to play. And you can just blow up on any V-Star or V-Max that is getting yourself in trouble. A fighting deck? Are there any fighting type Pokemon relevant in the game right now? We do win the coin flip, let's see if we're able to get that busted comfy uh, circling around each other star. <laughs> what is this? TCGO, you're drunk. You are drunk. Look at that. Is that even shuffled? Maybe the flower selecting will provide us with battle VIP pass and we top like an energy so we can draw with Radiant Greninja and see how it goes from there. Would have been a better hand going second, not gonna lie. Yeah, the opponent is taking their time to select their active Pokemon, but that's fine. Okay, Moltres, sure. Wow. I actually predicted a situation like this where we top deck an energy, get the Battle VIP pass, then get the Radiant Greninja, and maybe another Comfy up on board. Let's go. Concealed cards. Yeah. Poke gear, more comfies, nothing to work with. Yikes. Only one card in the law zone. That's like a, a very good card to say the least. Oh, this looks like Urshifu. Urshifu Moltres, right? Looks like an Urshifu. Feels like an Urshifu. We do see an Urshifu. So what we're gonna have to do here Let's get our good friend Manaphy up on board, or things could go wrong very quickly. Telescopic Sight, oof. Okay, Manaphy, already here, Gra glad to see you. Uh, we're gonna go for Poke Gear. I don't think this list is gonna be running a lot of Marnie regardless. Chorus is Experiment, this one. <sighs> Attacking with Cramorant. We can s then KO this one later down the line. I haven't checked quite yet how many energies there were priced. Can we we can get that these I think these are the better ones at the bunch. We do have energy recycler, so I think I will get Karamarand instead. Flower selecting. <laughs> no! We only have one Sableye. We only have one Sableye. Not gonna do that, not at all. We could try and get more cards in the law zone, but I think it's just fine to just attach and retreat. Attack with Cramorant, and then we circle around these, Mirage Gate, Mirage Gate, and boom, blow up on the Urshifu. I think that's not a bad idea. Spit innocently, that's for you, 110. I wanted to save my Sableye just because uh, we can KO Octillery with it, KO Sobbles with it. Maybe the uh, Moltres is still stuck in the active, they have switched. <laughs> they are not stuck in the active. Oh, it's a Strafe, what? And they're not gonna go to the, uh, uh, maybe we should have saved that escape rope now. Uh, Color is experiment, Mirage Gate scoop up, energy. Four, five, six. Now let's blow up, right? Let's put these in the law zone. Look at that. We can attack again, or we can scoop up. 
We have five, six cards. Scoop them up. Go for the uh, little comfy over here. Another colorless experiment. Shh. We already have still. We already have one, but uh, maybe just take the Oranguru instead. Okay, three energies on here, and uh, our good friends Grass and Fighting are in the discard pile. So we we're gonna go just go crazy. Let's go with that. Mirage Gate, Rayquaza time. This one, this one. Uh, we could set up a Sableye as well, I suppose. Mirage Gate, Fighting, Water, Fighting here, Water there, Scoop up. Rayquaza, it's time to blow up on the opponent. Amazing Burst. <laughs> Two prize cards, the Urshifu is gone, Moltres, not anyone near to attack us. Yo, they can see it, so uh, yeah, Rayquaza blew up on another multiple prize Pokemon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button, helps out in many ways, I appreciate it always. Go check out our sponsors, links down below. If you want to get yourself a custom playmat, there's of course uh, the uh, yourplaymat.com website. You can get 10% off by clicking that link down below. There is pokedownstore.com for TCG Online code cards, work on TCG Live as well as TCG Online. You can get 5% uh, off by uh, using the coupon code ZABLUSTCG. There is cardmarket.com uh, for European people. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. They will have crowns in it up on stock very shortly. So check it out and use that referral name, ZABLUSTCG. And last but not least is Dragon Shield for your sleeves, binders and deck boxes. Links down below to buy, of course, uh, these protective uh, goodies to just protect your cards. It's the best uh, yeah, brand out there. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. Peace.